Hi, my name is Panos from Team Crya, and I would like to show you what we have developed for the cross-chain hackathon. So for this hackathon, we focused on building an algorithm D app to solve a circular economy problem. The problem that the current value chains face for adapting the circular model is a lack of reliable information on what type of plastics are being collected and recycled. And this lack of information results in inefficiencies, increasing the overall costs of a recycling process and making it, in some cases, less viable compared to the linear model. So the solution uh, to this problem is to provide all value chain stakeholders with uh, a shared source of truth for tracking of plastic uh, product life cycles. And this way, the recyclers are able to know which products are recyclable and from which raw materials they are created. And of course, this will lead to overall efficiency gains, enabling the circular model to outcompete the current wasteful linear model. So in a high level view of our demo includes uh, three stakeholders, the creator who is able to create new plastic uh, raw materials that can be used by converter. So the converter who is able to purchase plastic raw materials from the creator and convert them into plastic bottles depending on a conversion, uh, conversion ratio. And finally, the decomposer who is able to purchase waste plastic uh, bottles from the converter and decompose them back into raw materials. So after starting the Agoric server and deploying the API and the smart contracts, we can see three different tabs, one for each stakeholder and one Agoric uh, wallet embedded in our front end with uh, some empty purses. And to start with the creator, we can see these uh, three different um, these three different empty purses, type A, type B, and type C, which are actually fungible tokens that represent the raw materials that the creator can create. So from this dropdown, we can we can uh, choose which type of uh, raw material we want to create. We can enter the amount and hit the create button and get the notification from the Agoric wallet that we actually trigger the smart contract, which means uh, the requested amount 10 uh, of uh, type A fungible tokens. And when we accept the transaction, we can see that 10 type A raw materials uh, are being added in the type A pairs. Of course, we can do the same for type B raw materials. We can select 20 and create 20 fungible tokens. And in the same process, we have 20 type B raw materials added in type B pairs. Since um, we have some tokens, we can continue to the converter. So the converter can purchase raw materials that already exist in the purses and create an invoice for them. Uh, so we can choose which type of uh, raw material we want to we, we want to purchase and we can enter the amount let's say five and hit the purchase button we get an alert which describes the process and a notification in the agoric wallet which says that we invoke the contract that creates actually means a non-fungible token which is called invoice and which has some uh, attributes like type, the type of uh, the raw material we want to purchase, a unique identifier and the amount of raw materials that we want to purchase. And when we accept the transaction, we can see that um, the NFT is being added uh, in the converter invoice pairs. Since we already have uh, now the invoice, we can uh, actually um, create plastic bottles by using the raw materials that um, the, convert the converter already purchased. So the contract which is being used in this uh, transaction mirrors a destructive manufacturing uh, process. Depending on uh, conversion ratio, for instance, here we have uh, five type 
A uh, raw materials can create one plastic bottle and we can enter the amount of plastic bottles uh, we want to go, we want to create and when we hit the convert button we get a notification in the Agoric wallet that uh, this actually invokes the smart contract which is doing two things one is burning five type A uh, raw materials from type A pairs and the second is creating a non-fungible token which is called plastic bottle with some attributes like type and a unique identifier and when we hit uh, the accept button we see that um, five type A um, are being uh, burned from the contract and the plastic bottle um, is being added in the plastic bottle pairs of the converter. Since we already have a plastic bottle, we can uh, continue to the decomposer. The decomposer can also do the same purchase and invoice creation, but for plastic bottles uh, that the converter has already created. Uh, we can choose uh, which plastic we want to purchase and we can enter the amount of pl plastic bottles, let's say one, since we have one in uh, the plastic bottle pairs and when we hit the purchase button we get a notification of uh, describing the process and this actually reuses the same smart contract as a converter uh, is using for uh, nft creation so we actually create an invoice uh, with uh, some attributes of type, uh, a unique identifier and the amount of plastic bottles that we purchased. So when we accept the transaction, we can see that uh, the NFT, uh, the NFT, the invoice NFT is being added to the decomposer invoice pairs. So since we have an invoice, uh, the decomposer is able to create raw materials by using the plastic bottles uh, he already purchased. So in our example, an empty plastic bottle is decomposed into new tokens representing um, the recycled representation of uh, source materials. Um, it, it can create uh, four uh, fungible tokens of type A2. Um, so we can enter the amount of one uh, plastic bottle and when we hit the decompose button we get a notification in the Agoric wallet that we actually uh, trigger invoke the um, smart contract which is doing two jobs one is um, burning uh, the plastic bottle NFT and mint for uh, fungible tokens of um, type A2. So when we hit uh, the accept button in the wallet, we can see that the plastic bottle purse is uh, empty since uh, the plastic bottle is being burned and the four, four fungible tokens of type A2 are being added in the recycled type A2 purse. And now we have a complete recycle cycle. Um, from, so from the Crya team, this real use case scenario, of course, can be improved by using multiple wallets in order to make it more decentralized. But we think that something that could really add value in the recycling, uh, the recycling chain is uh, keeping track of uh, the recycling uh, cycle of its raw material, which can give a better overview for its uh, stakeholder of the historical data and optimize the value chain. This is it. Thank you from the Crya team and thanks for watching.